This is my final video dealing with favourites of 2012, I think. But I wanted to do just a separate um, look at my favourite nail polishes of 2012 because I'm a nail varnish freak. I love um, having varnished nails. I always notice other people's nails if they're in good condition. And I really like to play around with colour myself. Um, so I'm afraid I buy a lot of nail polish and I don't really talk about it a great deal. Um, my favourite brand is, surprise, surprise, Chanel. I think they are still um, the leaders in innovative new colours and trends and it's often their particular polishes that become cult polishes. I, yeah, I do think there's a lot of hype but, you know, some of them really are worth it. My favourite nail polish of all time is Rouge Noir by Chanel uh, which was originally called Vamp in the United States and I've been wearing that off and on since it was first introduced, or certainly I first became aware of it in the late 19, mid 1990s. Whenever Pulp Fiction, the film, came out, Uma Thurman wore it, and suddenly everyone wanted it and it sold out. And uh, it's just a great classic um, vampy colour, a really um, dark, um, sophisticated red which is as much in fashion today as it was when she wore it. And I've gone through um, several bottles of it over the years. It's probably the only nail varnish colour that I have repurchased. Um, so that's quite a tribute. That's not in front of you now because I've just picked 12 polishes for 12 months. Um, they don't actually represent um, particular months because there were periods when obviously I was wearing favourites that are already in my collection um, that I've bought prior to last year. Um, but these are kind of representative of polishes that I did buy, I think nearly all last year, certainly wore last year and really enjoyed and thought were great. <clears throat> and I guess I'll go by brand. Um, Chanel, obviously, still my favourite brand. I do think their colours uh, are so chic, generally. Their formulations are really good. Um, they last pretty well, although they can be variable. Uh, I generally get about five to six days with a base and top coat before I will get some minor chips, have to um, touch up. Um, but I generally get with touch ups a complete week um, before I have to change my colour, particularly if um, it's been done for me rather than me doing it myself. My favourite shade, if I had to pick one for the whole year, would be this one that I've pulled forward. It's Malice from the Holiday Collection. It was quite difficult to get in the UK because it was very, very popular. Um, surprise, surprise. It's basically the Rouge Noir colour with metallic um which was the big uh, theme of last year, although I think Chanel had started it off more than two years ago when they um, produced Peridot, which was a metallic green, khaki green, that w completely sold out, was very difficult to get, is now part of their permanent connect collection. Sorry. Um, but they've continued um, having uh, some of these, these shimmers, um, what's the word, metallic shimmers in some of their shades and uh, it's a theme that's been taken up by all the other ranges last year and was incredibly popular along with glitter and uh, crackle and, you know, those crazes. But Malice, just gorgeous, um, really nice uh, shimmer, just very subtle. I wore it a lot. You can see um, actually that it I've used a fair bit in the five weeks or so since I've had it. And another great favourite, which was also metallic, was this one um, at the beginning of the year, Black Pearl, part of the permanent collection. It's an amazing um, colour because it looks different in different lights. It can look um, almost black or navy. It can look green. It can look blue. It can look grey. It's just a beautiful classic um, kind of slightly gothy, gothic um, nail polish. 
These two I enjoyed a lot in the spring and summer. April was part of the spring range. They did April, May and June. I didn't buy May, which was um, a fairly generic pink, similar to ones I already had. But I really liked April, which was this pinky red. And uh, just right for that time of year, I wore it a lot and I'll certainly wear it again. Um, they also brought out June, which was a gorgeous apricot in the jar, but not very opaque when um, you applied it. It was difficult to work with, and actually the colour tone didn't look good on me, so I bought it. I didn't wear it a lot. should get rid of it, really. Holiday um, was the summer collection, along with two other golds that I got and were really nice. Um, but this was my favourite, a uh, really bright orange, uh, totally a summer shade. I wore it a lot, particularly on my toes, and I loved it. Essay is my second favourite line, and I wore Velvet Revolver a lot at the beginning of the year in the winter. It's um, not dissimilar to Rouge Noir, but much more purple in tone, looks a bit darker on, um, and I really like it. And in the same sort of spectrum, but much brighter, a pinky, um, purpley red that I bought in the late summer, Bahama Mama. I wore it a lot in the autumn, and I wore it last week, in fact, and I really like it. And then part of the metallic craze, I really liked Dive Bar from Essie, which I bought in the States in the summer. It's um, a darker, more definite bluey. Um, metallic than the um, black pearl um, so you really have to go for it but I liked it a lot there was a lot of blue around Chanel brought out a lot of blue but I didn't buy theirs I bought this fairly cheap teal coloured blue um, from Revlon uh, and uh, I have to say every time I wore it which was only a few times somebody remarked on it and admired it so that was quite interesting. Um, that was I bought a light blue as well from Nails Inc, which I wore a bit in the summer, but wasn't sure about that. OPI are a good brand, and I liked their um, James Bond um, series. I bought a couple of them, Goldfinger, um, Die Another Day, I think, which I liked a lot, and this one, which was Skyfall, which I bought as the film was released. I must admit, I was suckered in by the name, but it's a beautiful bricky, slightly um, russety red, which was great in the autumn and fairly, you know, classic shade. Uh, I liked that. And then Nails Inc. is a brand, a British brand that I've been wearing a lot more recently. Um, they have some classic shades. They call always call them after British roads, London roads normally. This is Porchester Square. And uh, it's just a very wearable taupe. Looks very boring on screen, but um, it's a really nice ladylike shade that suits my skin tone. And I do wear it a lot. They've um, brought out a pearlized version of it, which is actually what I'm wearing now, um, and not um, Porchester Square. And it's called Chester Street. And that's it. Looks very similar in the pot, but it's pearlized. Very much the same shade, but one's got pearl, one hasn't. Um, loved this hunter green which I wore in the autumn that's Brute and Muse I had to buy a whole set unfortunately to get this because you couldn't buy it as a single shade annoyingly enough they do that quite a lot and um, this was the one that I really liked they had an awful lot of glitters hologramic glitters so on and so forth which are quite pretty but I think you have to be a bit more difficult when you're older they look a bit cheap um, to be honest unless they're very subtle this one was quite subtle uh, I thought it's kind of cross between glitter and metallic and uh, it's called Wardour Muse and they've got a few of these there's a, a ready coloured one that I liked as well particularly as a top coat I would often put it on after I'd had my manicure for a couple of days for example I had this starting to chip put this coat on top and uh, it would preserve the manicure for a bit longer it looked quite pretty, especially, you know, for the weekend. So those were kind of some of my favourites for 2012. Um, and I'll be wearing some of them again in 2013. And I have no doubt be buying some new ones as well. Speak to you soon. Bye.